Well, line up the nose beers and call me McGregor. What a night it was, the old day of reckoning. I ruddy enjoyed it, you know, and yes, okay, the Joshua Wilder ship has finally sailed, but I suppose it just wasn't meant to be. We'll probably never get to see that beast of a fight now, but let's not be ungrateful, people, because we did get to see Hergovic versus Demori. Fucking hell, that was good, wasn't it? Anyway, so let's dive deep into the bum hole of this double interesting night. Well, it didn't have the Brit Awards in between fights this time, like Fury and Garnu, thank fuck. But the old celebrities were still lurking about, particularly Ronaldo and the one and only Conor McGregor. Now, say what you will about McGregor, but let me tell you, people, it takes some serious nuts to bowl into Saudi Arabia with a trouser pocket full of fucking trumpet. Bloody hell, Ronaldo was getting his ear chewed off, wasn't he? Fucking hell. Anyway, no, I'm only joking. So then, yes... I'll talk about the full card in my next big vid, but for now, let's talk about the big three fights we were all frothy for, starting with Dubois versus Miller. And yes, a stellar performance by Young Dynamite, ending up in a knockout with eight seconds left of the fight. Unbelievable stuff. I predicted the more human Gerald Miller will be shattered after a few rounds, and he certainly was. However, to his credit, he still kept on coming. He really does have a phenomenal chin as well, taking the majority of what Danny boy through but ultimately Daniel showed us what we've all been waiting for from him serious heart and determination he was knacking himself early in the fight you could tell he'd burnt some nervous energy but he took everything the baby threw and he dug deep he had the opportunity to just move around and jab Miller's head off all night but he went into the fire and he always searched for the KO instead and I reckon the referee stopped it just before Daniel knocked him spark out because they knew they didn't have an ambulance big enough to fucking fit him in 330 pounds he come in at bloody hell Daniel looked like he was fighting a fucking lorry but yes anyway the chickens have come home to roost for Miller no drugs no good Bring on the Joe Joyce rematch for Danny Boy, I say. And then, oh yes, let's talk about the big upset baby in Wilder versus Parker. So yes, Parker won every round by miles. He was calm and composed and Wilder basically threw shit all. Then he had the audacity to celebrate after the final bell, thinking he'd won. Blood, is he winding me up? I was sitting at home scratching me bollocks and I had more chance of getting me on fucking raised than him. But all in all, it was a superb game plan by Parker and Andy Lee. He maintained a wide distance, hardly ever letting Wilder get into range. And when Wilder did throw, Parker would dip down too low for him to land or get too close for him to be able to load up. It was perfection. Full credit to Parker. However, Wilder was pants. The inactivity clearly threw off his timing and his accuracy. But to be honest, to me, he looked like a man trying to survive one more night for one more payday. And if you think about that, it kind of all makes sense. He's clearly been enjoying time away from the sport. He's been with his family and he's all nice and humble these days. Even after he lost, he was happy. He didn't really give a monkeys. I reckon the Fury fights took everything left out of Wilder. And I'm sad to say, I reckon that's probably the last we'll see of the old bronze bomber. He's 38 now, a family man with plenty of money. And the whole reason he got into this game was to provide for his daughter. He's done that now and he's a double legend for that but yeah it just didn't look like the desire or the hunger was there that he used to have i may be wrong but we'll see what the future holds and then finally old aj well i think we can all agree it was an aj of old performance he was spiteful and he threw with venom the punch selection was outstanding and wallen couldn't deal with any of it particularly the body shots in the end it looked to be the broken nose that forced the corner to throw in the towel after five rounds I reckon he should have borrowed Connor's nose. He'd have been able to do fucking 30 rounds. But anyway, yes, it was a beatdown and a bullying that really has now propelled AJ back to the top of the game. Now, don't shoot the messenger, Fury fans, but this is a statement that can't help but have fans questioning Fury's performance against the same man. Not to mention, with Wilder losing to Parker, this will also raise some eyebrows. But either way, with Wilder probably out of the picture now and the IBF belt looking to become vacant after Fury Usyk, expect to see AJ Hergovic next. But what about Parker, eh? Well, maybe a bit of Zilly Zang? Something like that? Oh, yes, fucking sign me up for that. And yeah, hopefully a bit of Joe Joyce for Daniel Dubious. So bring it on. There we are. I'll break this night down big style next week. But to Rafa now, have a blinding Christmas. You're all absolutely mint, you are. Big love. Thank you to the double excellent turkey, of course, and Bosch. See you later.